sure the weakness cup goes up. Is it past your knees? Yes. Yeah. Where, it, where is it, it going? It now? goes to like my hips. Your hips? Yeah. Are you able to hold your urine? Uh, yes. Yep. Okay. T today, because you really need to be examined physically. No. Okay. Billy. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. Sorry, my camera's broke, so if you see like something black right here and right here, it's because it's broken. But today, I am going with my cousins to the store. We're gonna do a seafood boil, and I just want to bring you guys. Auntie. Yeah, your aunt. And I just want to bring you guys along. So yeah, I'll see you in a second. Yeah. All right, guys. So so much has happened since I last picked up the camera. Um, so I linked up with my two cousins. We went to Starbucks. Um, then we were like, we need to do a seafood boil. So we went to the grocery store. We grabbed the stuff for a seafood boil. Amaya's dance teacher messaged me at three o'clock, and she's like, "Can you be at the dance studio at four o'clock?" So she could do her last two dances, and then she's done with dance for the rest of the season. So I'm like, yeah, you know. Hard to vlog. I don't know how Just Fan vlogs with kids. Come arrest you. No. Yep, they got new laws. They got new laws. I'm so sorry, you guys. This is like my real life, raw and uncut. It's just it. Hey. So right now, I don't know what we're, what we're doing. We just gotta kill. Them. Hi, Gray Gray. Hi, Gracie. Did you go swimming? He's coming back. Basically, my whole, not my whole family, my family, um, that's just what we do on a random Wednesday afternoon. We start out at Starbucks and end up having the whole family over making a seafood boil for them, which is very spontaneous. So you'll probably see a lot of that on this channel. Tomorrow, I'm just gonna like lay low, lay in the house because um, the PNES, you know, I can go for maybe two days, if that, with doing activities, and then I need to take like two days off, or else I will have seizures like back to back to back. So yeah, tomorrow I'm just gonna relax. So two, maybe three days ago, my family had, um, first Amaya had to do her dances for her recital, so I had to rush and do that. Then we had Black Lives Matter protest, we walked around a bridge and stuff like that. And the day after that, we were supposed to go protest again, but we were all like so tired. So we just donated money. It was like to a great cause too. So um, we did that. Then we did brunch and from brunch, we ended up doing family paint night. Then I got one day off, but it really wasn't a day off. Um, we went to my mom's house and the kids swam. Starbucks, the seafood boil, and everything like that. My body's eventually gonna give out. I did take my pills and I did drink. I'm like 100% sure that's like you shouldn't do it, and I don't recommend anyone do it. Because of that, though, I am scared that tomorrow I am going to have a hard time. Actually, the next day, um, from when we had the seafood boil, I'm in the same shirt or whatever. But um, I woke up this morning. Uh, well, last night, 
my legs hurt and I didn't realize it. Like I had my I rubbed my feet when we were at the party. And then when I got home, my legs hurt really bad when I was laying in the bed. Um, I actually texted Derek a few times and I was like, this pain hurt, like it hurts really bad. I thought like he should come home. But then I was like, you know, I'm just gonna sleep it off and see how I feel in the morning. Well, I woke up in the morning and the pain was still really bad. I felt like my legs were almost like paralyzed. They were very weak and I felt like they were gonna become paralyzed. I don't know how I would say that in the words. Um, so I woke up, I called my primary care doctor and because of the whole COVID thing, like doctors aren't really like trying to see you unless it's an emergency emergency so i called my primary care doctor she wouldn't be into the following day so i was like all right let me talk to any doctor you have available because i need to know what i need to, like what i should do um should i go to the er like am i having a stroke like what's going on so i called them um so i'm waiting for a new doctor to call thank you for calling 3100 hello Yes, speaking. From Dudley's office. Um, I just got on the phone with the doctor and he said that there seems to be something wrong with the line. Okay. Um, so he was wondering, uh, do you have an iPhone? There you are. Yes, sorry. <laughs> no, sorry, because I think, I think it's, I don't know if it's my end or what, but um, sorry about that. It's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm Dr. Miley. How can I help you today? Um, so basically, uh, last night, uh, my legs, my feet actually were hurting really bad. Um, and then it gradually went up to like my hips, uh, the pain. And then this morning, um, they felt like they were like paralyzed in a way. I don't know how to say it, describe it. Um, and so I, I was really concerned because it lasted for like eight hours and they're still kind of hard for me to move like my toes um i keep like um wiggling my toes just to make sure like my legs still work <laughs> were they heavy yeah um they felt heavy yeah yeah almost as if i had like an epidural that it was kind of felt like the same okay okay this is the first time it just happened yes how do you feel now um still the same very weak, hard to walk. So I've kind of just been sitting in the same spot. So the weakness comp goes up. Is it past your knees? Yes. Yeah. When, it, where is it, it going it now? It goes to like my hips. Your hips? Yeah. Are you able to hold your urine? Uh, yes. Yep. You know, I, 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 I think you need to be examined mm -hmm. personally. Okay. Have you traveled anywhere? No. Will you be able to go to the office? Yeah. 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 So let me let me call and see if Dr. Ileji can see you. Okay. T today because you really need to be examined physically. No. Okay. I'm on hold right now. Wish. Okay. Okay. All right. Alrighty. Okay. So. Can you just flash to your legs? Let me see how you wriggle your toes. Yep. Okay. Can you wriggle your toes? Um, I can wiggle them. It takes, it um, takes a, a okay. little bit of energy. Some of them don't want to go down. <laughs> okay. But do you feel pain that way? Um, yeah. I feel pain um, and weakness. Okay. So weakness is more than before. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when you walk, do you feel like you're walking on a concrete carpet or? Yeah. Or? Yep. Okay. All right. So I think Dr. Fati really needed to see you. And if you see any changes at all, okay. go to the emergency room. Okay? Alrighty. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You take care. You too. It sounds like um, this should be your primary. Right. Like, can we switch to this one? Yeah. It's like, it sounds like she really needed to see you, but like, why can't? If somebody wakes up and they're like, 
I feel like I can't move my legs or whatever. First thing is like stroke, nerve damage, like, you know, shit like that. Like, you need to be examined. He, everything that like I was describing, remember I said I feel like a flamingo? You know, like, yeah, whatever, I should, yeah. Like, they walk like this, like, I didn't know how to explain it. Yeah, I, I didn't know I was like, what yeah. are you trying to say? You, yeah, he was like, that. does it feel like you're walking on cr concrete? Yes, that's exactly what it, like, what it feels like. Like, it's, it's hard, it's heavy. Is your tingling? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly what it feels like. 